May prophets be upon you. I want to draw your attention to the Aussie Swiss, the Aussie dollars, Swiss franc pair, right? First thing I want to tell you is wait, <laughs> wait until Tuesday, wait until after the U.S. dollar, I mean, the U.S. Uh, CPI data comes out, okay? Because I believe uh, that the CPI data is going to come in a little less, a little, it's going to confirm that uh, maybe we, we're seeing inflation top out and and starting to come come back a little bit. All right, uh, uh, just relating it to the last month's uh, CPI data. All right, this 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 one is the one that's uh, coming on Tuesday. Will probably come in at the expected level, the expected numbers or less, and that'll be a little bearish for the U.S. dollar. And it will also, I would think, uh, motivate the Fed to kind of pull back a little bit on their uh, their hikes from 75 basis points to probably 50 basis points on the next uh, rate hike. We'll see, but that's that's what I have in my mind anyway. So I'm saying that if uh, the CPI data comes in and the numbers are uh, proved to be a little bearish for the US dollar, the Swiss, the Swiss franc will benefit from that, being that that is a more riskier asset as opposed to a safe haven like the US dollar. And it will outperform the US dollar as it has, as you see it doing uh, uh, towards the end of last week. Okay. Let's take a look at this. All right. We're going to look at the uh, Swiss franc futures right now. And what you can see, <laughs> we had a, a very bearish impulse. And all of this is correcting that impulse. Higher highs and higher lows. Internal higher highs and higher lows. And then this happened. We broke that little structure point here. This is an indication to me that the pullback is quite possibly over, right? And so it happens. Price did continue bearishly after that. And now we have a correction of this impulse. I have the fibs out to show you that we're tapping right around the uh, golden ratio of 618. And that's usually where you would think, you know, uh, uh, it, you will start to look in this area above the 50 for price to start pulling back and maybe reversing, right? Maybe the correction's over, but look at the quality of this, this impulse. This is very impulsive. It took three days of candles to undo all of these candles. You understand? I think the, uh, what do you call it? The momentum is to the upside. And I think we're going to continue to see that upside uh, continue, that that momentum continue, maybe after a little pullback here. All right, like you see here, all those, all those uh, wicks, uh, we broke that high. Oops, got this. We've, we, uh, we broke this high, all right? Got a technical break there that, of that high. And I'm looking for price to maybe pull back a little bit. And, and uh, when you see price start to dither a little bit, then you can count on price continuing higher. Now let's take a look at the Aussie on the other side of this pair, all right? The Aussie is weak, all right? Just weak. Uh, you can see, I didn't even update the cotton report because I didn't need to. I can see it, uh, like I pointed out last week, price made a, a very nice looking uh, head and shoulder pattern, all right? And the line here is the, the uh, neckline and it's a sloping head and shoulders. This indicates that there's gonna be some, a, a lot of wind to the back of any bears in this in this currency. So 
uh, uh, when price came down here, it just missed the target that I had for uh, last week's uh, week weekly outlook. All right, uh, please check out my my analysis uh, for the week last week. You know. Uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But I'm looking for more bearish price action from here. This should look like supply, all right? Uh, price ran up into the supply, and I do believe it will continue down low. We're gonna see more uh, uh, bearish price action, okay? That's looking at the individual currencies and their individual strengths and weaknesses, right? So you understand why I would pick this pair to trade, let's look at the actual pair, Aussie Swiss. And what you can see on the daily is, if I can get it out, right? A lot of accumulation there. I mean, this was just a, a choppy mess until we finally got some clarity. You just have to be patient with these things. And once it breaks, once it breaks, it breaks really hard, right? And then we have uh, price pulling into a bear flag and again just like up here we just have to be patient and then price comes down breaking that accumulation with a very nice bearish uh uh what do you call it? a bearish impulse right now i have a target set for next week right here and that's at 0 0.64842 right that's the low that is responsible for this high. And I believe that we're, it, it shall be attacked as we go into the demand of this zone right here, okay? As we go deeper into it, actually. So I'm looking for price to sweep the liquidity of these two lows here. And, and we'll see what happens when we get down to here, right? We'll see that what happens when we get down into that demand. Let's go to the four hours so we can see with clarity. All right, uh, the, uh, uh, that break here was pretty demonstrative. All right, you know, I look for a, a candle a body, a candle body close, and this is a, a uh, uh, an important structure there. All right, because you can see the range was pretty well-defined. All right, price finally sweeps the high and then comes down to sweep the lows of this range. When we come back up to test that breakout range, right? And all I want to do is find where is the order block? Where is the supply zone that will reverse price? And we have it here, right? And price has rejected from here, from the midpoint. I told you that's where a lot of good stuff happens. That's where the decisions are made, right? And uh, I'm looking for price to continue bearishly from here. Yes. All right, even if we get a little pullback further into the zone, we get this nice and clean. Even if we get a pullback from the open further into the zone, I'm looking for a sweep of these highs here, all right? I'm looking for a sweep, quite possibly, and then price continuing down, all right? Taking out uh, this low and this low. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I, that's what I, that's my, uh, my outlook for Aussie Swiss. I'm looking for, looking for a good sell. All right. If we price does come back up in here, I'm looking on the 15 minute for confirmations that price is getting ready to turn, uh, turn around and be bearish. And we can take this all the way down. And I believe we're going to finally take out that target folks. I'm again going to tell you, wait until Tuesday, you know, because if the U.S. dollar gets weak, the Swiss will, uh, the, Sw the Swiss will benefit from that with uh, finding strength. And as the Aussie is already weak and get uh, and about to become weaker, this gives me a high probability trade to the downside, I, in my opinion. And I'm going to tell you this, this is a, Look at the look at the pips here. Just just look at the pips, the number of pips that are available, about a hundred. All right. I'm looking at a hundred. We're looking at a hundred pips. A hundred pips will pass a challenge. All right. You put uh 
one percent or or point five percent point five percent all right of your uh uh your uh challenge account um like yeah the size of your challenge account uh you put point five or at or one point zero one percent on that you're gonna pass you're gonna pass all right but you got to make sure you be patient and wait for a clean setup that is confirmed. You want to wait for confirmations here. You know what I mean? All right. So I will see you in the next video. Do smash that like button if you like what I put out. Do ask a question. Leave it in the feedback. Leave it in the comment section. All right. And don't forget to subscribe and let a friend know. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very, thank you very much for watching.